Once you have the Google Messages app or whatever app you want to use for messages for SMS installed, you have to set it as a default app for to receive SMS messages because you, you it's not enough to install the app. During the install process, it might it might try to help you to set itself as default if you use if you use this app. On another app, it might be able to do it or not. To set an app as default for SMS and RCS, you go to settings. In settings, you find the apps option here, and here in the apps screen, you find the setting for default apps. Tap on default apps, and you will see browser app, core directing app, core ID app, digital system, home app, phone app. These are important ones for for what we're talking about now. You can change the phone app, the default phone app. I only have one phone app from the system default. From, actually, this is the Google app for the phone and the SMS app. Here, if I had another app that could send and receive messages, I could choose it as here, just another option, maybe three, four I could have, and that's already to change the, maybe you need to save it on different phones. It might be a little bit different, but this is how you change it. And you can always change it back to how you had it before. You always come to this menu for default apps here, and you can change the default app. And whenever you receive an SMS message, after you do that, whenever you receive an SMS message, the phone will know to go to the app that you set, in my case, the Google Messages app, to receive an SMS. And this one, because it has a spam blocking feature, it will block the message if it's a spam. It's simple. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you. Let me know in the comment section below if you use the Google Messages app or what apps you use for messages and why. Why are they better than other ones? Thanks for watching.